We have about a month left in the League of Legends solo queue season. As of uploading this video, there are currently 28 days left. And if you're watching this later, there are even less. So oftentimes at this stage in the season, I see two different kind of mentalities pop up around me in my coaching and in my communities. The first is a final push mentality. Now this is that mental when people get when they wanna go for the next rank and they wanna go a little bit higher before they end. So they're giving it their all for this last little month. Um, this is where people, you know, maybe they want to hit gold for the first time or they're trying to get into diamond or masters for the first time or they just want to end a little bit higher so they're really motivated to keep playing. The second mentality is kind of the opposite. It's a more relaxed mentality where people are content with where they're at and they don't think the next rank is easily obtainable. So they don't think they have time. They don't think they want to put in the effort. So they're a lot going to, uh, uh, they're going to slow down a lot more. They're going to stop playing as much rank. They're going to take a step back. Both mentals result in a massive shift in energy uh, towards this end part of the season. And I have felt both many, many times. I've both wanted to push really hard for a new rank. You know, last season, I was like five games away from ending Grandmaster. So I was pushing really hard even into the last day of last season. But in previous seasons, you know, when I was in college, I didn't have as much time. Uh, I actually let myself decay a little bit. Today, I want to focus on the latter mentality. In the JS Academy, we have two Grandmaster players and three Master players, all five of whom have completely kind of decided like, hey, I'm not going to be able to get to the next step. I'm going to slow down. I'm going to reset my MMR. I'm going to take a break until the next split where we're going to push really hard again, right? This, this kind of chillaxed content mentality has hit us hard over in the JS Academy. So I want to talk about um, how to handle that, how to combat that, and just how to, you know, interact with the game when you're feeling this way. And by the way, I'm included. I'm, I'm currently feeling this way. Um, the LP for Challenger is so high and I already hit like really high in Grandmaster this season. And it's like, oh my goodness, the LPs are so high. I'm just going to be in kind of maintenance mode until the next split. And then I'm going to really push for Challenger. This season I hit Grandmaster for the first time. I held it for two and a half, three months. Very happy with that. So especially when it comes to hardcore league fans and you know that you're going to be playing in the future and you're going to be pushing for higher ranks in future seasons, it's, <sighs> there's this delicate balance where you want to balance between staying fresh so you don't get rusty, but also you don't want to burn out. So I want to give you guys kind of three tips uh, for how you should interact with the game when you're feeling this way, when you have this kind of, I don't want to push really hard right now, there's not that much time left, but I know I will want to push in the future, maybe in next split. So the first thing I want to say is breaks are okay. My first video I made uh, at the start of this daily video challenge this month was talking about taking a break and how taking a break for me helped a lot. And by a break, I mean like a week or two of zero, zero league. I didn't watch league. I didn't play league. I didn't think about league. I did a little bit of coach. Like I do it as my job. So it's a little bit tricky for me. Like I still have to coach and I still have to kind of keep up with the patches and whatnot. Um, but when I wasn't doing it for a job, when I would take these breaks, I would straight up just never play the game or, or look at the game. Now I take one of these per season or so, or maybe twice a season in the year long season, um, where I just have a week or two where I have no league. Now, this is really a key for your mental, your, your micro and your macro, they kind of, they kind of decay a little bit, but your mental goes up by so much, right? You get a perspective for like league, League is just a game, man. Like, it's just something we play for fun. It's something we do to kind of prove to ourselves that we can climb. It, it's something that we do that is fulfilling. But at the end of the day, life is about everything else, right? Like, it's important to have hobbies to express yourself, but League is one of the least important things, you know, to prioritize in your day. So when you get those other things, you know, you spend some time with those other things, maybe you play a different game, maybe you spend some time with family and you come back after a week or two, you feel really refreshed and you're like, sweet, I can really enjoy this knowing that I have my other stuff, you know, squared up, squared away, uh, that kind of thing. So I recommend these big breaks. However, you shouldn't make the break longer than two weeks or so because that's when rust starts to develop uh, and it's really hard to kind of come back in full force. And we'll actually get back to, uh, we'll get back to this in kind of the third point. So taking one, one or two week break where you have a full mental reset of league is amazing. But I wouldn't recommend just quitting the game for three months and then coming back next season. Cause then you'll have to kind of rebuild everything that you've, you've learned. You'll have to spend the first month of coming back, just repracticing. So the second part kind of leads into this is, uh, don't be afraid to practice once every couple of days. 
but this is my second tip. If you are taking a full break, of course, don't do that. But if you aren't on a full break and you're just kind of like playing the game casually, you're playing for fun, you're kind of just, you know, you're watching league, whatever. It's not a bad idea to once a, once a, every couple days, maybe every every two days or every three days, hopping into solo queue on your main account, on your main champion, maybe doing some drills and practice tool and just staying fresh on what you know, making sure you, you can feel the game out, right? League is a game that's primarily built on feeling and intuition. So it takes a lot of just playing the game at a high level to be a high level player. So if you want to really push for a new rank in the next season, you got to keep that up somehow. So spending a little bit of time practicing, you know, for me, I'm playing one game in the morning. That's all I'm playing right now. I don't really feel like playing more than one game in the morning. It's still fun. I still enjoy it. And it's enough for me to kind of keep my kind of masters to high masters, low GM kind of ELO range, which will keep my MMR good. It will keep my skills freshened up, that kind of thing. So a little bit of practice goes a long way, especially when you know you're going to be coming right back in a little bit. However, if you're on a full break, no practice. Just, just take the break completely for your mind of league and then reevaluate when you come back. Now, my last point is for when you are playing and when you're not hardcore practicing and you're not on a break, and that's emphasizing fun. You know, if you're not playing for a ranked push, why else do you play league? Why did you start playing league in the first place? Why did it hook you in the first place because it's so damn fun there's so many things you can do there's so many champions to play there's so many compositions to try there's so many friends you can play with there's so many just things that you can accomplish in the game and that's freaking fun man like it's just, it's just a blast so have some fun with it go into normals do oq with some friends play flex Q. play clash um Find a group of people to play to play some uh, tournament games in. Play in a, a tournament over the weekend. Like, just have some fun. And all these things you can do at every rank, by the way. Right? Like, they have weekend tournaments where if you're a silver player, you can go play in. They have uh, weekend, you know, they have Clash where, you know, any rank you can go play in. But also, just find a group of friends that want to play some normals. Introduce a friend. Teach a friend how to play. Play a new champion. Play a new role. Just really emphasize fun. So, for me, I've been playing top secondary. I haven't played top secondary for like a year now, because I switched to bot lane secondary. I used to be a top main back when I was diamond, like low diamond, like high plat even, and I swapped to mid for diamond to masters. So I went back to top lane and I've been having a blast with it. I love Jax, I forgot how much I love Jax. Shen, I've been having a lot of fun with Shen. Shen was one of my pocket picks back in the day. Um, I like tanks in top lane, to be honest. I know that's kind of a weird thing to say, you know, don't hate me for that, y'all, but I enjoy playing some tanks top lane. Uh, I get into some Cho'Goth action, maybe, you know, it's pretty enjoyable. Anyways, I wanted to share some thoughts for the end of season kind of mentalities and especially some stuff that's been happening in my academy. I want to know how you guys feel. So if you guys made it to this point in the video, I want you to go ahead and drop. This will probably be around eight minutes, eight minutes and 30 seconds. So why don't you comment 830 and tell me how you're feeling about the end of the season. Are you motivated to get to the next rank or are you kind of hanging out and chilling until, uh, until next split and what are you doing about it anyways i hope you all enjoyed this little discussion i will see you guys in tomorrow's video peace